Why hello there! In this video we are going to take a look at DegreeWorks and how it can be used to take a look at your education plan while attending Imperial Valley College. To access DegreeWorks you go to the For Students menu and select DegreeWorks. Here you will put in your IVC ID and PIN number and click Agree and Continue. Okay we are logged in and we're looking at my profile here, no shame. This is for the major you are declared for. There is a way to run plans for other majors in case you're thinking of changing one, but first let's take a look at the declared major, which is the plan that pops up by default. So here along the top first, you're just gonna see your name and ID, your overall GPA, and again, your major, and then it will show you your degree progress in a percentage. If you scroll down, then they have these categories, which we call blocks. There's the degree block, the general education pattern block, and then the major block. So up here for degree requirements, there's only a few. The only thing that I haven't finished is the major requirements for this particular major. If we scroll down, here is the general education block, and we can see that all of those items are checked off. When they are checked off, you will see the course that was used to satisfy that requirement, the grades you received, the number of units, and the term that you took it. If we scroll down, we will get to the major requirements, we see here it's pink because it is still needed. It will also say still needed. It will tell you how many units are required for the major. And then if we scroll down, then we will see this option that says elective classes allowed versus not allowed. This has to do with future financial aid requirements. That's more information to come. But for now, just know that these are courses that were taken that couldn't apply. And so they all dropped down here. Then there's another section for insufficient, and these courses had either an insufficient grade, a failing grade, or they were dropped. And just in case there's a checkbox that has something in it that you're not sure what it means, there's a legend down here. So we see the blue squiggly, that means it's in progress, you're currently taking it or registered for it, but it's not done yet. This is nearly complete. If you've had a transfer course articulated, you might see this blue T. And then the at sign means any course in a particular subject. So the legend is helpful. So now let's say you have an idea about a major change. I'm currently listed as business admin for transfer, but I was thinking of going a different direction. How many more courses would I need to take? Well, to do that, that's a what if scenario. So if we go over here on the left, we can click on what if, and then we can select the academic year. Your counselor will work with you on what academic year you're truly eligible for, but I'm just gonna go with the current year because then I know these majors are still around. And for the program, it lists all of our programs. And yes, we do have quite a bit different GE patterns. Each have to have their own program built within DegreeWorks, which is why you see them that way. So grab the one that you think is best for you. And again, when you change your major, we do recommend you meet with a counselor and they'll help you figure out this GE pattern selection. Now down here where it says your future courses, if you know that you're going to take class in the summer, ANTH 102, then go ahead and put that in and it will calculate that including that course. But remember at IVC, if you're already registered for it, it's gonna already have that calculated in your degree plan. And so then I'm gonna click on process what if, and there we go. So we'll see that for this particular degree. Oh man, I'm 100%, I am ready to graduate. And that's why the what if can be very helpful. You might be close to a degree and you didn't even realize it. Probably wanna make an appointment with a counselor and get that in. Let's go back into the what if. Just know you can also add additional areas of study. Let's say that you're wanting to compare a couple of programs. You can pick your initial program up here. And then down here, you can pick a secondary program and click to add it and then do a process what if and it will give you both of them so you can see how they would compare. And if I scroll down, we'll see both of them. So we can see that it doesn't really matter at this point which major I went with based on the courses I'd taken so far because both of them only have one course satisfied, four units applied. Maybe, let's say it was a different program and this had two courses already taken, this had one. Maybe that influences me on which way to swing. That's something to talk to your counselor about but this is a way that you can compare a major side by side to see how those requirements line up with what you've taken so far. So this is DegreeWorks. I encourage you, use it. It is another tool in the toolbox for student success at Imperial Valley College. Mm -hmm.